Hi, today we are going to learn the 7.1.2, topic 7, control. In the last class, we talked about uh, some uh, different control systems, like uh, automatic doors, washing machine, GPS, and uh, traffic lights. And also, you did a poster on this topic, taximeters, right? So today, we are going to continue to learn something about control systems that's uh, macroprocessors and uh, sensors because for the control system we need to understand how the data can flow from the input to processing and then to output okay first we talk about the role of the microprocessor in control a microprocessor is a computing engine assembled in one chip like this and it performs all the compilations and the data processing of the computer. And just like we talk about the computer fundamental, the computer architecture, the central processing unit. So in CPU, we have the different unit, control unit, and the arithmetic and the logic unit. The, un the central processing unit will do the different things that we, so we can processing the data. So having a processor in a control system, you have a lot of uh, advantages. Like uh, they can process data very quick and much faster than a human could. And it, due to the fast speed, they can react very quickly to change in the control system. And the control system can run uh, throughout the year 24 hours, seven days and they can work in a place where it could be dangerous for a human, right? And output are the consistent and the error free. However, there are several disadvantages about the control systems. The first one, it may cost a lot of money to develop the software for a control system as they are uh, specialized and uh, the system will not be able to run in a case of the power shortage. It's power sensitive. And the system will not be able to run in a case of computer like, um, malfunctions. A, uh, a computer cannot react to events that it has not been programmed for unlike the human could. And also it can cause some constant if total control for system and uh, like decisions are hand over to a computer. The sensors are uh, input device that measure the physical uh, quantities in analog data. There are sensors for a lot of conditions such as uh, uh, temperature, pressure, sound, and uh, humidity, they will send this signal to a CPU after uh, ADC. You remember we did the World Cup last year, the ADC, the analog digital converter, right? So, for example, a, a temperature sensor in a building to maintain a specific temperature or a security alarm system may have a, a infrared and a pressure, a pressure and plant to sense movement in the environment. And the magnetic sensor are used to detect the mental and can be placed in road to uh, monitor the traffic flow. So when we talk about ADC, we need to think about another word is DAC, right? So digital to analog converter. You know, the computer cannot read analog data because it is a con a constantly changed. So an ADC will sample data, uh, losing a lot of quality, but making it possible for computer to process it. So that's all we need to know about the processor and the sensors about the control system but actually in a different situation i mean a different control system 
they will work like a different way. But all of this will follow the three different steps uh, input, uh, processing, and uh, output. So we are going to do a um, classic activity that you can choose. You choose the one control system and the list the, and um, make a list or explain how can the data flow from input to processing and uh, output. And you need to prepare a presentation, like a 10 minutes long presentation. It's not very long. And to show me your understanding about the microprocessor and the sensor in a control system. Okay, thank you.